I'm here at Marathon Lane. I think it's 2615 Marathon Lane, Fort Lauderdale. And we're looking at a foreclosed property. From the outside, the flat roof over the garage needs to be replaced. It is covered with black plastic. Uh, it looks like the remainder of the roof at one point was covered in black plastic and that has since been torn off. The screen door on the front of the house, it looks like it's hanging. As we walk in, first thing that we notice is that the laminate floor looks like it's been wet and is separating. I don't see any damage in the ceiling on in the main part of the house. It's quite spacious with open cathedral ceilings. We have window AC units, which means that there is probably no central AC. This is a bedroom. We're back into the family room. Another central AC unit. Um, backyard area, then we'll go through the rest of the house. The deck out back looks like it's in pretty poor shape, ready to be replaced. Plenty of room for your boat. As you can see, there's some pretty good sized boats here on this canal. There are storm shutters on the back of the house. I didn't notice the front. They're on the sides. Coming back in. And this is ceramic tile on this floor here. Coming back in, we're going to go through to the right, which would be left of the front door. And what do we have here? We have a bedroom. There are shutters on this window. We have a bathroom. There's no power, uh, toilet, pedestal sink, and a jetted tub. This is an interesting floor. I think that it's all linoleum. It is. The center of the floor is kind of peeling up in areas. You have a mural of mountains on the wall. And I guess that's a office area that goes with the master bedroom and there are shutters on the front of the house that I'm seeing. The master is quite large, you've got a double door entry coming into it, brown paneling on the walls in the office area. The ceilings are open cathedral, coming straight across we've got another bedroom and actually this is the master. This bathroom has been updated. Again, pedestal sink. Looks like it's been updated sometime in the late 90s. Coming back through, we're gonna come around and here's the kitchen. The kitchen has been stripped of all cabinets, all appliances. And then we're into the garage, and I'm not going to stay in here long because I can already smell mold. Yep, there is black mold coming out of the ceiling here. Washer and dryer is here. And you have another storage area with a side door that goes out to the side of the house. And there you have it.